All right, so look, what well on, people? You probably got fooled, right? You probably fooled. What well, live stream again? Yeah, don't lie. Fooled. I fooled ya. I'm sorry. Hey, look. Hey, the fucking joke. It's a small friggin' rant, man, because it's like I'm always on my lunch break. I'm on my lunch break right now. I work here, or dinner break, or lunch break. Yeah, let's let's go with lunch tonight. But I'm on my lunch break. All right, dinner and lunch. Lunch. All right, so look. So I'm on this um I'm on this this social this social media site yeah, and it's like people can go live on this shit as well. Like all of these social media sites, they allow you to go live now. Like all right, like everybody goes live. So it's like this is why I wanted to do this video because it's I'm getting sick and fucking tired, sick and fucking tired of people who go live every day, every day. For almost 10 hours tops, for almost 10 hours tops, doing and saying absolutely nothing. Zilch, nada, nothing, duck. Like, I'm still trying to figure out why people go live to do and say nothing. It's like people have forgotten the concept of what it means to go live. Like, I swear I spoke about this on my fucking live stream as well. I can't even friggin' remember no more because I'm just forgetting so much fucking shit nowadays, man. There's always something that happens within the space of five, ten minutes and I forget about what the fuck I was talking about the day before or some shit like that. But people are always live right now. So this, this, this site now, you get a bunch of people, mainly women. You get a bunch of people, mainly women, who go live all the fucking time to not do and say nothing. Just seek the attention of tens and thousands of viewers. Sometimes some of these girls have 70,000 plus viewers watching them do nothing, watching a blank screen, watching the camera look up at the ceiling with shitty mumble rap music playing for time. Simping dudes be up in the comments. So gorgeous, babes. Can I see your titties, babes? Show us your boobies, pitties. Go, you got cute eyes. You are so sexy. You know, the same generic BS, bullshit, yes man words that a lot of simping dudes think is going to work and get them some ass. Like, I tried to sum, I tried to say to some of these simping dudes, because it's like, I feel like that's my purpose as well. I said that, I think I said that on my thing as well. And I feel that's my purpose right now, to put simping dudes in their motherfucking place. So I said to these simping dudes, let me tell you something now. Being a yes man will not get you any ass. It won't. I've just seen that from observation. I've seen that from the, through the dealings I've had with women. I've seen that through the dealings my boy has had with women. Like with women. Most women do not like a yes, yes man. There's a difference between a yes man and a yes, yes man. I feel like a yes man will say yes to a few things, but he will still put his foot down when he gets tired. But he has to at least get tired first before he says no. But other than that, he'll say yes for everything. But a yes, yes man will never say no. It's yes, darling. Should I tie your shoes laces, darling? I'll carry you up the escalators, darling. Oh, don't worry about not cooking, darling. I haven't eaten in two days. Don't worry about it, darling. I'll be all right, darling. Yes, darling, it's all right that you're cheating. Don't worry about it. Can I film you, darling? Those are yes men. Yes, yes men. You are not going to get any ass. I'm telling you that now. But they seem to think they will. A lot of these women be up on the same thing again, on the same shit. Someone pop up. Somebody message me. Someone message me while I'm bored at pop up. <laughs> I find this shit so hilarious that I find that I'm crazy about it. Like, I find this shit so hilarious that I'm just absolutely mad about this shit. Like, <laughs> like I don't know how... I don't know how some women are still able to get away with with doing and saying nothing but just having titties and ass. Like I don't know how women are still able to get away with this. And it, it This is what I'm saying, like I'm just like I don't think like like some of the women who have like four relationships in the space of a year. Yeah. Like four relationships in the space of a year, and all of these guys were fuckboys, 
but they never actually took the time after like the second one for instance in the space of year after the second one they never thought to themselves or even the third like second one all right mm, right you might want to start thinking about the third time the third fuck boy that's when you gotta be like maybe i might just be the fuck girl why i keep attracting these fuck boys maybe i should stop doing fuck girl activities i said this year I said this on my Facebook, I said it on the social media side, I'm on, I've said it on my Snapchat, I've said it on my Instagram. A fought, a fought a hole. Her profile, doesn't matter what social media account it is, a fought hole's profile is not complete. It is not complete without the cleavage picture. You know, the cleavage picture, titties all there and shit. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to have my titties spilling out. I didn't mean to have my tits spilling out. I tried to actually do a selfie of my entire face, but my tits just spilled out right there. And then I've got another one where I'm laid down and the tits rise up underneath my chin. A foe's pro a fox profile is not complete unless she has at least five of those titty cleavage pictures. And at least one of the side mirror ass picture. I don't know why women always need to have that side mirror ass picture like that. Why do we always gotta do it? Why do we always go to do it? But they wanna diss, they wanna diss man that always be in the picture just like that. Like man them always be in the picture like that. <laughs> but most of these women today be on the fucking toilet sink like that. In the mirror, like that. On the bed, like that. I'm just like damn. But they need to destroy social media. I feel like they have to. They need to destroy social media. They need to put it in check. They need to slow it down. So it's like this net neutrality thing. I feel it to an extent. To a degree, I feel it. It might slow down these fucking thoughts. <laughs> like it might slow them down. It might actually stop these, these Snapchat premium hoes charging $9.99 to a bunch of simping dudes to see 10 seconds of nipples and 10 seconds of her playing with her pussy. There's a bag of women out there with that shit right now. There's a bag of women out there with premium Snapchats. Like, real talk. If it was that easy, I would have a premium Snapchat myself. Hey, look. To any of the women that's watching this this this, this video right now, yeah. I've got, I got a Snapchat premium. $5.99 and I'll show you the dick. Hold on. I'll show you the dick. $5.99. So you got to do. PayPal. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say, man. This shit is getting on my fucking nerves. People who go live need to stop this shit if you ain't going to be doing or saying anything. You have forgotten the true purpose of going live. Like, you've truly forgotten it. So, yeah. Stop that shit. That's all I wanted to say, people. This is KMD. This is Rant Radio. Oh, shit. I apologize for not doing the um the live like I said I was going to do on the Saturday. But Saturdays is the one day I kind of just leave wide open for anything to possibly happen. But I fell asleep like a baby. I can't lie to you. I fell asleep like a baby and I woke up at one. 1 a.m. I woke up at 1 a.m., mate. Uh huh? I'm sorry. It's night shift. Come on, man. I apologize, you know. But look, man, I'll have more videos again later on this week. No doubt there'll be a lot of more bullshit that's going to piss me off anyway. <clears throat> there'll be a lot of more bullshit that's pissed me off. There'll be some more There'll be some more jokes for me to, to, to do more videos on Head of Joke part 7,000, you know. I'm going to probably be reaching Head of Joke part 3,000 and some shit like that, you know. But yeah, I'm going to be back in here again, people, man. This is your boy, KMD. This is Van Radio. Peace and love for watching. Stay blessed, stay safe out here. You know how mad it is. Peace.